Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Absolutely gorgeous morning out here. Nice clear blue skies. Temperatures oh, about 73, 74 degrees right now. Absolutely beautiful. With the exception of the barge right offshore there. <laughs> they are actually pumping sand that they've dredged out of Wiggins Pass and they're dumping it all out just on the other side of the sandbar here. Some of our beautiful sea oats. You may have seen some of the photos that I've posted of the sea oats. Starting to bloom now, absolutely beautiful. Just remember, don't mess with the sea oats. They're protected by law. Absolutely gorgeous though, when they're in bloom. Some nice little waves rolling in on shore here. That's from that storm that passed through. Might get a little rain this afternoon, I don't know. Let's go take a stroll along the beach and see what we find. Maybe with all this wave action, we'll find some neat shells out here. You can see there's a lot of shells on the beach here. A lot. wall-to-wall -wall shells out here this morning. Wow. There's a nice big piece of finger coral. It's a nice piece of coral right there, finger coral. Should find something nice today out here. There's a piece of a big old lightning whelk. Look at that, that would have been a huge lightning whelk. Look at the size of that piece of shell. Wow. Over there. Actually, there's so many shells out here, it's hard to actually look at them and figure out what's here. An absolutely gorgeous morning. Can't wait to get a little further north behind me up the beach this morning. It's usually where I tend to find most of the shells that I take home that I collect. There are just so many out here. Gosh, there's another piece of a giant whelk shell. Look at that. Can you imagine what that shell must have looked like? Look at that, that is huge. Wow. That would have been a beautiful whelk right there. That is gigantic. That is one big twisty. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Amazing. The 
It's going to go a little bit further down the beach. And I'm going to get turn around and walk north a little closer to the water. Seams are out here biting me, darn it. Look at those waves. Beautiful. Hey, be sure to hit the share button. Let your friends join in the action here. Beautiful Tuesday morning here in North Naples, Florida. Well, that water is warm. 83 degrees, probably getting a little warmer now. There's a nice little slipper shell right there. Nice little slipper. Flip it over. Let's see why they call it a slipper shell. See how it looks like a little shoe, a little slipper? A slipper. Beautiful, the slipper shells. What's this over here? That looks like maybe a little piece, part of the shell of a, maybe a calico crab. Just a little piece of the shell. The crab shell, the calico. See Roy standing up there by the barge. It's not running right now. I'm sure he'll tell us all about it when we get up there. What a change in pace here for the weather. It was cloudy and rainy for the past few days and the gulf was really calm now we got some nice little waves breaking on the beach today and clear blue skies totally opposite Boy, lots and lots of shells here, but I'm really having a hard time seeing them down here. There's so many. It's just a mass of shells. It's a little scallop, a little tiny scallop shell. Kittens paws and jewel box shells. Here's look at this old jewel box. It's kind of a sand color. Usually they're white. It's kind of a sand color jewel box. Lots of jewel box shells on the beach. There's a couple right here. Here's a little jewel box. They are everywhere. Lots of little kittens paws out here. Here's a little one. 
and a piece of one. So you find a better one. There's a nice little kitten paw. More jewel box shells. There's another little beautiful scallop over there. I love the scallop shells, they're so pretty. Haven't seen any worm shells yet or worm tips. But definitely lots and lots of jewel box shells this morning and slipper shells. The slippers, the jewel boxes, lots of them out here this morning. A look around here absolutely gorgeous beautiful blue sky look at that blue sky all around everywhere we look blue sky this morning little rollers there. See Roy up here. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's going to go home or set his chair up there. The tides, we're low tide right now, so it's going to be roll, coming in here for the next four or five, five hours, I believe, till high tide. Is that a kitten's paw down there? A little pink kitten's paw? That's a big one, look at that, wow. That is a big kitten's paw there. I don't know where Scott and Linda are. They're usually out here early in the morning, walking the beach, looking for shells. a little cockle shell down here. I see the pink on the inside. See how the cockles kind of they're kind of a pinkish color inside. That's a cockle. I have several different kinds of cockle shells out here. The way you tell the cockles is by those deep ridges.
darn flies are still out here. Gosh darn flies. part of the dredging apparatus over there. Hey Rob, how are you doing? Hey Roy. All right. What it, after yeah, rain, huh? isn't that nice? Finally, <laughs> what are they doing to our beach now? Well, they're supposedly adding more to it, I guess. I don't know why, but huh. they added quite a bit down there the last couple days. How far out? Right there, where that thing where it's sitting? Yeah, just right along in the shallows here. So, uh, well, that's I don't know good. how far they're going to go this way, but so what? It just pumps sand out of that pipe there. Oh, it was pouring out like, man, yeah, the dredge is way into the canal now. So what was coming out wasn't just sand. It was all kind of muddy stuff. Right. The dredge is back in there, getting out near the sea now. I wonder when they're going to start it up. I don't know. They had that little tugboat buzzing around this morning, but they didn't come this far. Huh. Yeah, beautiful day today. Wow. Boy, isn't it, though? I love it. Past and couple days were. Oh, hey, I had some rainbow bubbles rainbow in the, in the foam, foam. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah remember that other oh, day yeah. those big ones these yeah. are little tiny ones but even so there's rainbow colors they're really pretty yeah we got let's see we got some sea foam along the shore yeah, here yeah huh. rainbow foam. you gonna hang around for a while yeah i think all i right. will all right i'll be back let okay. me let me get ahead i want to get ahead of scott and linda they always beat me to all the good stuff along the beach <laughs> i want to get ahead to jump on them this yeah, morning they'll probably be down again they got their new house they're real yeah they're, that. they're gonna be working on that scott said he's got some work to do on it but that'd be good hey let's see if there's some rainbow in the big rainbows in the well probably look at that big pile right yeah, that big clump the early morning sun when it hits them yeah look at oh you can see them yeah hey yeah Roy's rainbows in the foam. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't yeah. Right Look at all those little bubbles. All the, all the colors. <laughs> They're getting all away from us. Yeah. Oh yeah. Glorious. There you go. Get hey. a good up close look at it. Hey, good. Put it in your pocket the and take it home. <laughs> okay. How long do you think that'll look at that boy? Isn't look at the it, light. Look, look, look at the blues. Wow. Aren't those something? And there's some ambers coming. Oh, there's look at it shrinking amber up. Light. And look how they change. Yeah. This is red now. You get, oh my golly. That's beautiful. Isn't that glorious? Yep. <laughs> Doesn't look so pretty when it now <laughs> my hands all <laughs> yucky. Huh. Sea foam. Sea foam. Roy is just fascinated by all the little colors. The iridescent colors reflecting the sunlight in those bubbles. One more glorious thing. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> there's so many glorious things down here. Yep, there's so many things when you just stop and smell the roses. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Just Relax. Exactly. Oh boy, what a blessing. Well, I'm going to walk up the beach. Okay. And I'll Rob. be back, all right? And yeah, chat. good seeing you. All again. right, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. We'll check in with Roy a little later, towards the end of my walk here. I just want to walk along the beach and see if these waves brought any interesting shells up on shore. I don't know what's going on here. This does not thrill me at all, seeing this barge here. What they're doing is they're dredging out Wiggins Pass, which is way up there at the end of the park. There's a big underwater hose here that runs along. And then the sand they dredge out, they're pumping back out 
into the water here just offshore. It comes out, see that big pipe on the top there? It comes out that pipe, the sand. I mean, I guess it's, it's nice that we're getting more beach, but if you've been following my beach walks, or you all know that there's a sandbar right out here and it's just covered with all kinds of sand dollars and sea stars, and fighting conks. So those things are getting buried by all this sand that they're spewing out of this thing. So I hope they can dig their way to the surface. Everybody was wondering what they were gonna do with all that sand they were getting out of the pass. This is the first time I've ever seen them dumping along the beach here. But there's two big dredges up in Wiggins Pass to the north of us, just sucking the sand up from the bottom of Wiggins Pass. Maybe that thing will be running later on. You'll see it in action. A lot of broken shells on the beach today. These waves, they tend to wash up a lot of broken shells. There's a couple little snowy white egrets just offshore, just right along the edge here. See them over here? Two little white snowy egrets. Wondering what that thing is in the water there. That's where the sand comes spewing out from right there in that pipe. Like I said, maybe we'll see that in action a little later this morning. What an absolutely gorgeous morning. Huh, no shells here. I'm guessing that's because this is where the thing's pumping the sand. Just behind me, to the south, the beach was covered with shells. I really thought this part of the park was going to be loaded with shells, too. I get a kick out of Roy and that sea foam. He thinks that is so neat. It is pretty to watch. The, the way the little bubbles in the sea foam reflect the sunlight. It's like a little prism. You see these little rainbows in it. We're at low tide right now, but because of these waves, the onshore breeze, the tide's not really that low. So normally there'd be a nice line of shells all exposed along the shoreline here, but not today with these waves. Darn it. I was really excited about getting out here at low tide. Hey, if you live down here or you're coming down here on vacation, you're gonna come visit the park, definitely say hi to Roy. If you see him out here, say hi to me if I happen to be doing my beach walk. I want you to put on your list of places to eat, put Naples Coastal Kitchen, Naples Coastal Kitchen. Great little restaurant up in North Naples, not too far from here. Awesome meals, great people running the place, but. Definitely check that out, Naples Coastal Kitchen. Chef Hector, he is an excellent chef. He used to be the chef at Fish Crazy and Randy's Fish Market. Back in the old days, Randy's Fish Market and then Fish Crazy. Hector really knows what he's doing. Now he's at 
Naples Coastal Kitchen. If you do get stop by there, assistant manager Smitty, Brian Smith, Smitty we call him, tell him Rob sent you. Who knows? You might get something out of them. Boy, these waves are really pounding on the shore up there. Look at all these broken shells. It's all pieces of shells up here. Listen to those waves. It's a beautiful park, Del Norwegian's Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. A mile of beach here. No homes or condos along the beach, all natural. Give you a look down south. Barely see Roy down there by the barge over there on the beach. So this is a lot of wave action for the Gulf Coast here, the Gulf side of Florida. It's usually relatively calm. We've got some nice little waves out here this morning. There's a big clam shell. <clears throat> a lot of people collect these big clam shells. They make little bowls out of them, bowls or ashtrays. That's a pretty good size one. That's about a medium size clam shell. Here's a smaller one over here. You could collect a whole set of them.
Our beach has been scoured clean of shells up here. Must have had a, these waves must have. Well, actually you can see the waves. We had another, had a little more erosion along here. These waves must have been pounding on the shore for a couple days. See, we lost a little more sand here. See this little lip running along here? Hmm. This beach comes and goes. You never know. That looks like Scott and Linda down there digging through the shells. Another nice little clam shell. That's a real small one. Kind of a brown color, that's pretty. This is the north end of the park, area five. No swimming allowed up here, just fishing because of the currents from Wiggins Pass. Here's an interesting, interesting looking rock. Look at that. know what you're going to find, what kind of fossils you're going to find on the beach here. Great place for fossil hunting. Boy, no fighting punks out here today. Just a bit rough to go out in the water and do some shelling. Pretty much impossible to see with the waves. See, we still have a signal. Our signal, our connection gets pretty weak, usually up here at the north end of the park. A lot of times our connection will drop out. These trees were all knocked down by Hurricane Irma here back in September of last year, of 2017. Loving this blue sky, loving it. Absolutely gorgeous this morning. They're calling for rain this afternoon, but we'll see what happens. Predicting the weather in Florida is pretty much impossible. It's a crapshoot.
Where are the barges? Now well, one of the barges is, oh, they're both up the river there, up the Coquihatchee, the two dredging barges. Hard to see with the light. Right in between those condos there. fishermen out here this morning. Gorgeous morning. Remember those condos over there from those aerial pic photos that I posted yesterday? Those photos were taken from behind them looking this direction. Looking out towards Wiggins Pass. Clear sky. Well, I'll take a quick picture, bear with me. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. No channel markers out here. The, this pass has been reshaped, Wiggins Pass, so they've got temporary markers. I don't know if you can see them out there, little plastic buoys out there, temporary channel markers. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous morning, but no shells. I haven't found any really neat shells. See if Scott or Linda found anything out here. Well, your pockets must be full. Nothing. Nothing Absolutely all. nothing. No, it's, all the way down. Yeah. I did find a cool piece of a scallop shell that's like oh, yeah. fossilized. That's neat. Fossilized shell. That is very cool. Really cool. That is a really nice find. But I wonder if it's because of that uh, them dumping all that sand in there. It looks like it's all just busted I don't know. Up shells. Yeah, it's all everything's broken. Unless you want big clam shells. Yeah. Big clam that's shells. all we got are those big old clam shells. That's all. Darn. Not not no. even a worm tip. No, not no, one no. worm tip out here today. <laughs> Shells, there no was a tip. tenth of these shells on the beach. We came out here going, where'd all the shells go? Oh, really? There was nothing yes. yesterday? Nothing. It was stripped clean. Yesterday. It was stripped clean. Huh. Oh, yeah. It probably has something to do with the dredging. Got you. As soon as we Still beautiful. You, was, it, was it rough like this yesterday? No. It was dead calm. Huh. Yeah. Barely a wave. Beautiful. came around after that storm. Yeah, this is the back but end. It really looks like it eroded quite a bit. Yeah, we lost a lot more beach. Oh, well. But it they're comes giving and, us some back. Yeah, it comes and goes. So that, yeah, that's a good thing. Talk oh, on. well. I know Roy's probably fascinated when that thing's pumping the sand, huh? <laughs> yeah, he's mad because then he has to walk out farther. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Darn, you're putting more in. Yeah. yeah. But he's, uh, he's bent on taking a swim today. I don't know. Oh, is he? Yeah. I just... Spoke with him for a couple minutes there. I'm gonna go Maybe chat yeah. with him now. Oh, okay. Maybe Jennifer's coming. I'll see you get. Don't worry. There's nothing matter. here. Nope. nope. I feel Not, better about when it. When I now. first walked out, I mean the beach was covered with shit. Right. And but there's nothing there. There's really. nothing there. We heard you and rushed here. <laughs> <laughs> we were running a few minutes late. I'm like, how do you get out there already? Don't there you go. go. We kicked it in the high uh, was supposed to stay home. That was my master plan today. <laughs> Right. Nope, that's I was deceiving you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> never us. believe him. Never. <laughs> that's okay. I'm good. Glad to see you. Yeah, Beautiful. same here. I'll, I'll see you in a bit. Yep. See ya.
Oh, great people, Scott and Linda. Just moved here, just transplanted from Michigan. Met him out here on the beach. Actually met him through Facebook. They were watching our feed, my feed, and they came out and introduced themselves and we've become friends already. <laughs> But as Scott was saying, there's just no shells. You can see there's there's shells on the beach. It's just broken bits and pieces of big clam shells. And nothing really. I haven't, even, I haven't seen any, any conch shells out here today. No fighting conchs. Usually we'll find a half a dozen or so of those at least, the fighting conch shells, but nothing today. However, it is a beautiful morning. There's another piece of a whelk shell. Boy, first, when I first started my beach walk, I found a huge broken whelk. There's just the bottom of a whelk. Just the very bottom piece of a lightning whelk, a big lightning whelk. It was a big lightning whelk. That is all I'm finding are pieces of shells. can't win them all but I'll still take the beautiful weather I want to come up here and take a picture looking back towards the pass Beautiful, absolutely beautiful morning here. Bear with me while I snap off a couple photos. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. There's one of our little shell trees here. I'm gonna walk up here, see if we can maintain a connection here. Check out all the beautiful sea oats. Where I am standing right now used to be sea oats, but Hurricane Irma just dumped so much sand on this beach that it just covered them all up. You can see there's still piles of sea oats that got uprooted and washed up on the beach. Sea oats was sea oats right there. But where I'm standing used to be all sea oats. And they're finally starting to make a comeback. You don't want to step on them. You don't want to walk through these sea oats. You don't want to pick them as beautiful as they are. Please don't pick the sea oats. Don't walk through them. They're so beautiful when they're in bloom. Look at them just swaying in the breeze there. Gorgeous. Aren't they beautiful? I'm gonna take a picture of that, bear with me. All right, I'm back, sorry about that. Gorgeous.
and take another photo. Bear with me, I apologize. Okay, I'm back. Now, I did not step on any sea oats. There was a big clearing where I was standing. You can see this is where I was standing back in here in this big clearing. Quite a drop off there. Quite a little lip there, a little ledge. Loving these waves this morning. It's gonna be a pretty extreme high tide. We're low tide right now. I'm going to scoot down the beach, check in with our friend Roy, see how he's doing. See, we've had some pretty good high tides here the past couple days. You can see we've had some more erosion here at the north end of the park. But apparently, they are pumping sand out just offshore of the beach. You can see the barge up there. That's what's pumping the sand out. Look at these waves. Listen to them.
interesting rock, fossil. Looks like anything interesting in there. Look at that. That's pretty neat looking. Beautiful blue sky this morning. Yeah, it's a great day for yeah boogie boarding or yeah. Went fishing around the pass for a second. You went? What you you found something? Oh no, nice. you got, got a, caught a fish. You. All right. We'll see it. So it wasn't need to a, make sand molds of fish. It I wasn't a one. give it to Roy. You'll give him something to there do. You go. That's a good idea. <laughs> when you get there, he'll be making sense. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, God. Well, you're, at least it wasn't a complete waste today. Nope. You got a new toy. I got a new toy, and, and that means something to me. There you go. <laughs> I'm still confident. We'll find something. Oh, you got to. We'll find something. Yeah, all bits and pieces, bits and pieces of shells out here today. Amazing. Look at how high this water is coming up. And we're, oh, low tide was a half hour ago. Look at where the water is already. This beach is gonna take a pounding today. It must be too rough for them to dredge today. The two barges are tucked way inside of Wiggins Pass, way up river. And there's a big tube that runs along the beach and goes to this apparatus over here, this barge, and that's where the sand gets pumped out. So they're dumping the sand all along the shoreline here that they're dredging out of the pass. See how the waves have pounded at the beach here. A lot of erosion along here.
Bear with me for a minute while I take another photo. Well, this isn't good. Again, we're just a little past low tide. Look how high the water is already. Beautiful weather though, gorgeous. Look at that blue sky. Right in the center of the barge there, that pipe. That's where the sand gets pumped out. I mean, when that thing's running, it's just spewing out of there, water and sand. So you can see it's not too far offshore. The barge isn't too far offshore. So that's where they're dumping the sand that they're sucking up out of Wiggins Pass, just offshore here of the beach. A little snowy egret. Where'd he go? Running along, a little snowy egret. This little yellow feet. Pretty hard to catch fish in those waves, but amazingly they do it. that barge again right off the beach up in area four where Roy sits you can hear the waves hitting it sounds like thunder not too far offshore. Let me take a quick picture of it. 
Bear with me, get a little closer. It's over here. So that thing isn't too far from him. Look at all those waves, huh? Awesome. What an awesome morning. Sounds like thunder. Listen, you'll hear the waves hitting that barge. Let's go check in with Roy. See how he's doing today. Power walk? Yeah. Power, walk. Power walk. I guess it must be too rough for them to turn that pump on. I don't, I don't know. know why they're not they're pumping. Sure. They stopped pumping yesterday. They're morning. way off. They it's didn't rough where they are. They're way in the... And they're pumping from all the way down there? Yeah, isn't that a long that's, pipe? That's amazing. From all the way you down Wiggins Pass to here. The they got. And it's a big stream of water that hoses that oh, big. Yeah. Boy, it gushes it out, just of out of there. It just out of there, huh? You see any mermaids come shooting out of it? Might <laughs> <laughs> be something. Wouldn't you like that? <laughs> we'll see you in a little All right, see you guys. Yep. Boy, yeah, that thing. They're invading your territory with that thing. Well, here. not only that, that impeller in the pump. You'd think it would be so much abrasion because they're sucking up all kind of sand and and um, shells and everything. Shells and everything. Yeah. Think how abrasive that is, and that thing is whirling constantly. Yeah. I can't believe they got a steel hard enough to hold up uh, for, the, for long with that. Do you? I don't know. Why? It's probably not going to be here very long. I'm sure they'll be getting it out of here. Well, I think it's an interesting thing to think about how they. It is definitely all that. Yep. And I'm also wondering what that machinery is on top of the barge, because that doesn't assist with the pumping or anything. And they run that thing, and there's that. A that is um. Compressed air. That's a compressor. Yeah. I don't know what they need compressed air for. That's a compressor, and they got a generator. It looks yeah, like and a compressor. A I don't know how that thing works. The generator maybe is used to start the compressor. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> probably, probably. Interesting though. I wish it was running so people could see it. Oh, oh you mean when the water's yeah. pouring out? Yeah. Yeah, that's quite a quite a gush. Quite a lot there. of water squirting out of there, huh? Yeah, yeah they haven't been run it yesterday though, and. Uh, it hasn't started yet today, so the dredge must not be working. Yeah, so you what, can hear the dredge when it's working. Boy, it makes a lot oh, of yeah. Yeah. So what did I miss yesterday besides that and some rain? <laughs> <laughs> that was about it. I pulled out before I got drenched again did like you? I did the day before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it came down in buckets. Boy. Oh, man. What a waterfall. <laughs> so how you doing with your PayPal orders? You getting any more PayPal? Yeah, I got some, uh, some coming on in, so oh, that's, that's awesome. a thrill. And I'm going to see the typist tomorrow. She's going to, Sandy's going to bring over some more pages she's got typed, and I got oh, some more things for her to type. So oh, that's great. So 
Oh, it's shaping up. I got a bunch of pictures that she's going to scan and the whole bit. So Great. So I have some photos so in there. Yeah, so it's, it's going to be a thrill. And I'm looking <laughs> Get, forward to getting, getting closer it and closer every published day. and sent out. So. Yeah. I know everybody's looking forward to getting their copies. <laughs> I know. Well, What's, I think what Astrid probably put in the biggest order, huh? Five copies? Yeah, that's right. She had a big order. <laughs> <laughs> that's something. I think she's planning on giving it to some of her clients. Some well, of her real estate good. clients. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't that be something? Yeah. My gosh. Well, it's, it's been a real thrill, and I'm, uh, I, I hope, I'm sure people will be pleased with it. <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, so what you going to do today? Anything special? Just soak in the glory? Yeah, yeah. Enjoy the journey here. The flies aren't as bad as they were the no, other day. No, that wind kind of blew them away. Yeah, that was nice, all right. They were terrible the other day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you with your can of raid. You scare people when they see you spraying that around. Well, earlier that helped. Boy, the flies are murder. Now they kind of disappear. I got bit by a couple no see earlier. Oh, a couple? <laughs> I must have had a couple of thousand no see -ems. Oh, really? Oh, boy, did they eat me. Coming through the woods from the parking lot. It was early, you know, and boy, those darn things. It's hard to get them. They get even with my hood on this on this shirt up over my, they get in around my ears, my eyes, and yep. nose. And <laughs> yep. They're you all over everywhere. The place. That's for sure. Good morning. 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 Well, that's all part of life, so you I didn't guess. Get, why didn't you yeah. jump out there and get a hug, Roy? Oh, what are you waiting for? You missed one. <laughs> you let one. You let one get by. Oh goodness! <laughs> That's because I was talking to you. It's your fault. Oh, it's my fault. Now yeah, that you didn't get it. Okay. I know your name. <laughs> yeah, he did say hi, Roy. Yeah, I know. Uh, everybody knows Roy. I don't know why. You're the mayor. The mayor of the beach. <laughs> I don't think so. I, I just like so. coming down here every morning. Yeah, for what? Oh, How many? Eighty, 80 oh, something years you've been coming out here. Well, not you here. You found that 20... harmonica out here on the beach <laughs> as a kid. <laughs> oh no! Anyway, life is glorious. It is glorious. Oh, People boy. really liked your our little chat on Mother's Day. They enjoyed hearing about our moms. And... Yeah, yeah. Well, I really re respect the ladies. I'll tell you. Yes, sir. They got a big job on this earth. I'll tell you. They do. <laughs> we got a lot of moms out there that watch us. A lot of moms. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, when is Father's Day? I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I don't know. What is it, a month or away from Mother's Day? I don't know. I don't think I don't think fathers are have quite quite such a, a big chore. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the moms do all the, the hard work. Isn't that right? Good yep. morning. <laughs> Hear our ospreys chirping up yeah, there. Yeah, I hear that. I still haven't heard little ones chirp. Not yet. I don't know if they got eggs up there or what. Well, I know one time there was flying back with some spongy like seaweed. Yep. And they, apparently they coat the nest with that so it's yeah. nice and snuggy yep. for the. It's like the their egg. little mattress in yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So they got the nest all prepared. So the osprey nest, folks, is just right up here in this tree, right up on top of that tree. We're hoping to have some little baby ospreys one of these days. You can see it right at the tip of my finger there. But they set up camp right above Roy this year. That thing is a monstrosity, isn't it? it sure ruins ruins the view. Well, we could look in the other direction. <laughs> there you go. Turn away. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. the thing to do. It's beautiful over here. Yeah, you know, this is the first time I can remember them ever doing this. Yeah, that Pumping close. the sand on the beach. Once before they dumped sand on the beach, but it seems to me they had hoses that yeah. ran up on the beach like... It just seems... I mean, you know, I guess it's good for the beach. You might as well put the sand somewhere that they're digging up. I suppose. I mean, we've lost a lot. We're going to have a really high tide today, too. You watch these waves. Coming up, huh? Yeah. I mean, it's just... The tide just turned. So... Look how high it is already. Yeah, tides are, in, you know, we grew up on the Great Lakes, and uh, I suppose they had tides, but they were so small that nobody 
talked about tides. But you know, you did have tides on the lakes. Yeah, I'm sure it does. They were probably inches, huh? Yeah. Maybe, maybe a foot. So I'm not used to tides at all, but. Right. Boy, so, see some really have low tides. Have you talked to Patty Knight lately? Patty. Yeah, he thinks she was on the internet, the Patty was, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I don't know if she, uh, I know she's got that new boat. And it'd be fun to go go out for oh, a cruise. Oh, yeah, I'll have to go out in Patty's boat. Yeah. That'd be wonderful. That'd be fun. That'd be a good time. I don't know how many it seats. I don't want to overload it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, crap. It'd be board. fun to go out there and take some pictures. and Do some snorkeling. Do some snorkeling. There you yeah, go. Yeah, that'd be wonderful. You got a snorkel? You got? Oh yeah. Did you get yeah. one of those from Mike? One of those that go all over your entire face? Did you get one? Remember? No, I just got a face plate. Remember that mask he had with the built-in snorkel that covered went all around your yeah, whole? Yeah, yeah, that was a, quite a snorkely thing. Yeah. yeah. I'll be darn. I could try one of those. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Almost uh, like a diving helmet or something. Yeah, it was pretty neat. I mean, it was like. Looking through a window, the thing just went <laughs> completely around your face. How about that? I thought you tried that on up there at Wiggins Pass one day. I don't remember it. And Marcus and Andrea, they are you know from Germany, their son had one. Yeah, there swimming. was something like that. Yeah. They gave it a whirl. Yeah, That's and they were, right. he was he was having fun with his. Yeah. Well right. they'll be getting here pretty soon, Marcus and Andrea. They come in the summertime here. Hey, that'd be wonderful. Yeah. I forget if it's June or July when they get here. Yeah, my Swiss friends, he said he'd be back in October. I think he's he left, so uh, they'll be back. That'll be fun. It's neat, huh? We got friends from all around the world. How about that? This is an international beach. This is our international oh, yeah. clubhouse. yeah, somebody from Scotland ordered one of my books, too. Yep, that would be Joyce, probably. Yeah, Joyce, Joyce that's yep. right. Joyce from Scotland. She You're came right. out. She was here at the beach and brought us some chocolates. Remember oh, when she was out Oh, weren't they delicious? They were, I think they had orange oh, in them. Oh, that was they a good time. Filled. That's right. Yeah, they were good. Yeah, yeah, what a sweetie she yep. was. Yep, Joyce is a nice lady. Uh, everybody here that's... Everybody's yeah, everybody sweet. Everybody that watches us, everybody that comes out here, they're great. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a big country club. It is. It's so beautiful. It is. It's a cross between church and a country club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the best part of life, I'll tell you. Yeah. You come out here and say your prayers and oh, you feel talk to whoever. It's peaceful out here and you feel uh, really close touch with a great creator. Isn't that the truth? You see friends and oh, it's just glorious. Just glorious. Yeah. It just makes life. Uh, one, one person said that was that was kind of cute. He says, uh, if heaven is is half as good, let me in, but not today. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. No, you know, it's funny. I mean, no matter, every day is different. Every day you come out here, it's something different. That's right. The sky is always different. The sky, the water, the beach looks different every day. It's a little different. It's yeah. never the same. You can never get bored of seeing the same thing here. Yeah. You never do. The waves washing in. I love the breakers. Big barges off the beach. <laughs> yeah. Well, never boats know. going by. The boats oh, are the boats going by. The people walking by. The people walking by is the fun part. Yeah. People yeah. watching out here at the beach. Yeah, everybody is very friendly when they go by in the yeah. morning. I love it. Just love it. And one of the, like I said, one of the big things is seeing you, Rob, every yeah. morning. That's well, always a delight. Here. Seeing you. You're always full Some, of good, here, good a, cheer. Here's a gal here, Linda, wants to know if you live alone. Uh, yes, I do. I <laughs> My bride passed away, <coughs> poor thing, and so I'm alone now. Uh-huh. But I come down here, I got so many friends here, it's my sociability. Yeah. You pretty much come out here every day. Yeah, every Almost day, every rain day. or shine. It's got to be a really nasty day not to see you out here at the beach. <laughs> well, I don't sit around in the rain, but I've walked around. You walk in the rain. I've swum in the rain. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that was a bad one, and the lightning came. I know yeah, they always say it about you're not supposed to. 
Well, it, it wasn't lightning when I first, when I was out there, I figured, well, what the heck? Oh, the rain drenched down. All of a sudden, kaboom, there was this lightning. I was kind of scared, but. Oh, yeah. But, you know, I figured, it, why would it hit me just, you know, out there in the That's water? what they all say. <laughs> why me? Poof, they're gone. <laughs> I guess you get hit when you're not in the water, too. Oh, yeah. I don't know how close it has to hit to feel a tingle out in the water. I, I don't, don't want to know. I don't know how that works. Yeah. I know we've walked in the rain many a times here on the beach, you and me, in the pouring down rain. Yeah, yeah. Rain, wear a rain shirt. I've got some pictures of you with your... Oh, that your big rain, yellow. Yeah, your raincoat on, yeah. standing out in the pouring down rain on the beach. I think it rained so hard, even snuck in that, that uh, big uh, sou'wester I had. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a couple times it really came down. We got get, we got caught up at the end of the beach and nothing, nowhere to hide. <laughs> nowhere to hide. Yeah. Well, you and I have been down here together for a lot of years, Rob. Yeah. Time flies, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't know if we had any more sea turtle nests on the beach. I didn't see any rangers. No, I didn't see it. I didn't see any crawls at all. They like to come down at the other end more. There's a little more beach for them down there. Where down? Down, down the, the south end. The other end? Yeah. Probably but you never so. know. It's still early. We're just, what, 15 days into the nesting season. I suppose the raccoons will be hatching out. Oh, yeah. The raccoons will be bothering the nest. All right. Well, I'm going to get moseying on. Well, Rob, great get seeing you, the man. World. Yep, yeah, always good right. chatting with you. Well, wonderful chatting with you, and and uh, have a great day as always. Yeah. How are you doing with your developments? Oh, good, your, good. Your videos. I'm doing good. I got work to do. Hey, that's wonderful. Yeah. We got a couple couple days, slow days here to relax. I'd like to see one of those videos sometime. Okay, I'll make sure you do. Yeah, you you're in you're in one of, you're in one of the videos right now. <laughs> Well, you know, one of your advertising right. videos. I'd, I'd, right. I'd like to see what you prepare. That'd be okay. interesting. All righty. You should have a, a first night or a showing or something. Oh, there you go. And invite a debut. All your, invite all your friends. And there you go. Rent a screening. A, rent a pavilion. And oh, okay. <laughs> and we'll look at all make, the videos of make, you. Make a big deal out of it. We'll watch, we'll watch the video with all your wisdom. <laughs> Not my that videos. You I want to see us. your videos. <laughs> All right, yeah, there, one little cloud. How about that? A couple little clouds starting to roll through. Huh. Oh well, they say it's probably gonna rain later, so, but later. Later never comes. Later never comes, there you go. All right, Roy, God bless. Tally-ho. Have a good day. Yep, Tally you too. <laughs> oh, Roy, what a great guy. Look at that sky. Absolutely beautiful. The only thing ruining the view here today is that darn barge. Pumping some sand onto the beach here. Haven't done that in a long, long time. They've been dredging Wiggins Pass out for the past oh, three weeks or so, a month. So they got to put that sand somewhere, so they're going to put it to good use and pump it out along the shoreline here at Del Nor Wiggins. I head down the beach a little bit further before signing off. Maybe we'll run into Scott and Linda before I leave. Get a beach report, see if he saw any signs of any fresh sea turtle crawls down to the south. When I was out here Sunday on Mother's Day, we had, let's see, we have two sea turtle nests that I know of right now. So I don't know if there is a third or a fourth. You never know. As of Sunday, we had two nests. Boy, 
What a beautiful change in the weather. I hadn't seen any fighting conch shells on the beach this morning. There's a couple of them. There's one, all, all old and broken. There's one here in my hands, one down there. No Florida fighting conch shells. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We really didn't find many shells on the beach this morning. There's lots of little shells, but they're all broken. The beach is just littered with broken shells this morning. Part of a big old whelk shell down there. See that big piece of broken shell? It's part of an old lightning whelk. I think I'm going to call it a morning here. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos here on Facebook. Have a wonderful Tuesday, wherever you might be watching from. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.